rappers, here are three secrets to writing better rap hooks today by Curtis King. Let's talk about it. Rappers, I was posed a question by Bez. He said, hi, Curtis. Thank you for inspiring me to stop feeling sorry for myself and get back into the game. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can you do a video on writing hooks? I can write as many as 16. I can write as many 16s as anyone. I have pages and pages and pages of rhymes, but I just can't seem to write a catchy hook to finish the song. I have a bunch of unfinished three verse songs with no hook. It's my main weakness. I can't sing, so I don't like singing on hooks. Please help me, bro. Let's talk about it. I think that I can give you some advice when it comes to hooks. Me being a recording artist, me being a rapper for far longer than I've been a producer, I can offer you advice. I have three secrets that I go to for hooks. And I know that you said you don't sing, but I'm telling you at least one of these particular secrets can help you cultivate the hook that you want. Numero uno, when I first started creating songs in hooks, were a challenge to me. One of the first things I started to do was I had to approach it from almost the, the same perspective that a college student would. And what is that, you may ask? I said, huh, if I was in college and I was studying a particular art form, I would wanna know the history of it. I would wanna know the structure and the technicalities of it. So the first thing I did was I started researching structures of hooks. Right. So when I researched structures of hooks, what I found out was that even though in rap we do have, you know, different types of hooks, sometimes they're eight bar hooks where nothing gets repeated. Sometimes they're four bar hooks where everything gets repeated. Sometimes it's just one word all the way through. But every single one of those hooks has a structure. And if you pay attention to things like where the rhyming words fall, do they fall on the snare? Do they fall off of the snare? Is it some kind of way that they change the pronunciation of the words, the rhyming words? Do they start off of the one, which is the, the first kick that starts in a loop? Do they start off? Is it like, sometimes I'm dumb and dumb dumb. Sometimes I'm dumb and dumb. I don't know what I just said, but you have to pay attention to the structure. There are song writing structures that people have been using for the last hundred years and people have found ways to revise it, but really what it comes down to is taking each line and trying to figure out where the rhyming word goes. Is it where one line doesn't rhyme and the next word rhymes and this letter, this, this, this line three rhymes with this line right here and I think they separate it by uh, symbols like A, B, C, or ABA basically signifying these rhyme, these, these lines are meant to rhyme. That's the first thing, approach the structure. Number two, I know you said you don't sing, my friend. I know you said you don't sing, but one thing I think you should immediately start doing because we are heading in the direction of hip hop where, you know, even if you rap, people are expecting a certain aesthetic. Even people who like hardcore bars expect a certain aesthetic. And I think that even if you're not doing the singing, you can help a hook come along by utilizing this next secret. I hate the word secret, but I got to use it because it's clickbait and y'all clicked on it. But number two secret is this. I got this from Pharrell. Find three different melodies that you can hum to yourself. If you find three melodies, that song is all but done. What do you mean it's all but done? If you think about any song, any song that has like singing hooks, generally there's about three different transitions. I'm talking about any Drake song, it's about three different melodic ideas that are that are put together. Now that's a, a enormous overstatement because a lot of songs have harmonies and a lot of singers use different skills. But for the most part, you think about it, there's three melodic ideas to every song. And that third idea is sort of optional because it can represent sort of a a change in key when it comes to a bridge that you're using on a song. Uh, but when you're trying to figure it out, one thing that I do when I'm sitting there with a beat, the first thing I do after I've written, wrote the bar, because the bars come easy, I'm just like you, you know, where the, the bars come completely easy to me. The, the, what I start doing is start humming to myself. You know, if I hear a beat and I'm like, 
That sounded like a hook from 2001. Ugh, I don't even like the way that sounded, but whatever. I start humming it, and because I hum it, it inspires something else. Sometimes I hum my way into a word. Sometimes I hum, you know, uh, uh, um, when I'm hungry. And I'm like, I'm feeling so hungry. And I don't know, now I got a hook about being hungry, but I have to hum my way into it. So I suggest the same thing. Second secret, find three melodic ideas that come to mind. Just start to think what things come to mind. Maybe you may have a nursery rhyme that comes to mind for some reason when you hear a certain chord progression. Go with that and figure out how you can kind of make it your own. But sometimes humming your way, finding three melodic ideas, Three different melodic ideas will break you down into a situation where you will figure out how to get these hooks done even faster than you anticipated. And the number three secret, ooh, boogity boogity boo. When it comes to creating hooks that you like, copy everything until you hate it. I said the same thing for producers. If you hear hooks that you like, start to study those hooks. It's beyond the structure. There's things about that hook that I'm sure are far, far more than just the melodic ideas. They're far more than just the rhyming words. There's something about those hooks that maybe it's the personality behind it. Maybe it's the way that a certain words were said. Eight doobies to the face, fuck not. That right there may get you to where you're like, man, I kind of want to mess up a word. Let me try it out. And then because you did that, that inspires another idea that you can now make your own. Copy everything until you hate it. And when you start to find your voice in it, one thing is funny that I took voice classes. Yes, don't stop laughing. Shut up. Stop laughing. I took voice classes. I took it multiple times because I liked it. Shit. I took it multiple times because I liked it. And one of the things that the voice teacher told me was, I want you to sing this Frank Sinatra song in your lowest voice possible. I was like, okay. <laughs> I think that was a Frank Sinatra song. And then she was like, all right, sing it like, sing it like Bullwinkle. I was like, you must try, you must got me confused. Think I'm stupid. She's like, just sing it. And I was like, and I did that. And because I did that, it makes you do different things with your voice, which in turn is getting you closer to what your natural voice is. Now, what we think our natural voice is, is probably more aligned with our personality. We may think like, oh, I'm a very laid back person. So it doesn't really coincide to have this larger than life voice. Well, how would you know until you use your voice to its fullest capacity? You look at a Mariah Carey, you talk to Mariah Carey, you probably would be like, man, if you didn't know her, you'd be like, you can't sing. Like, you got this deep voice. You can't sing. She has the highest high notes. I think before Ariana Grande came and did that, the highest high note of any Guinness world record. She just hits certain notes that can crack uh, 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 glasses in half. Clean. And just clack them, crack them in half with her singing. You know, and I know a lot of this information was really based upon singers more so as the foundation but i do believe that even if you're not melodically inclined there's things that you can do that will inspire you to do certain uh, uh techniques that make your rap hooks even better for me personally even songs that i have no plans on on singing on i find melody in them and realize that you know even when you think about rap songs like uh 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 bah, 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 bah. shut the f up Shut the F up. Throw your hands in the sky. Woo, 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 woo. Talking about Pharaoh Munch. Bah, 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 bah. When you think about the way that he is, he, there's a certain tone that goes along it. Uh, even you think about, um, oh, what's another? Give me, give me another one. Um, uh, uh, if you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. But I'm missing one. It's almost like the things we did as kids. There's certain, you know, you can call them melodies, but there's certain uh, 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 tones and timbers that we use that basically string these words along and make them feel like, oh, this is the part of the chorus. Sometimes taking, I mean, I'll give you even a bonus one. Sometimes taking a word out of your verse and being able to now make that the central theme of your song could also inspire some great ideas. Look, I gave you more than three, my friend, but that is where you should start off from. I hope it inspires something great out of you right now. Once again, it's another Curspiration Doodle. You need some more of this juice? Please subscribe to the channel below. Be a part of the notification game. All my folks on there that are part of the Curtis King community, thank you for being a part of it. If you would like to be a part of the Curtis King community, AKA the one percentile, 
producer and rapper who are sharing information that you won't find anywhere else on the internet, please go to curtiskingbeats.com backslash membership and join today. To double back on the topic, rappers, if you have techniques, or even singers, if you have techniques that can help these rappers make better hooks, share them below in the comments. Let's get the discussion going. You know, I, I share the things that have helped me. Maybe there's some other things. I know there's some other things that can help you that are going to be following these comments. Make sure you go back down there and read them and interact with folks. Look, in this life, you would not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. I did that like I had long hair, Rich. I can't listen to you. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me I 